All right, we're out here in the uh, middle of nowhere in wolf country or where, where the Lassen pack was hanging out last I heard and uh, seen some tracks, got the camera trap, got the goods and uh, I'm gonna find a good spot to set up. We're gonna get us some wolves on the camera. So we'll see, but Dixie fire burned through here. You can see a bunch of the, the nasty burn, but I'm also seeing deer tracks. So the food is here. So there we go. Good luck. All right, so I think I found my, my neighborhood here. Take a look at this. If I can flip this around. We've got some good tracks here along with mine. So that's my foot, right? That's a size 12 and uh, good print right here. There's a lot of, a lot of sunlight on it, but that's pretty good size. There's a couple of them around here in the mud. So I'm kind of following this little muddy stream. Keep seeing more, man. Look at those. We're on to them. That's super. Look at the size of that. So this is actually going the other direction on the same little trail area. So that's a good sign. They're using it coming and going. All right. I've got kind of a, like a well-used game trail here. See a fairly old print right here. And, uh, my camera trap waiting to go up, but one right there and then a couple really good ones right here. So that gives you an idea. They're big. The gray wolf's back feet are smaller than their front feet. Their, their chest and head and neck area is big and they, uh, they have bigger front feet to kind of compensate for that. You can make out kind of the claw, the claw marks up there. And um, clearly a dog print. It's another one right in front of it there. That's another back foot. On a canine track, you can kind of usually make an X shape in the kind of negative space of the pad between, you got the sun between the toes there, like that way and that way. It's kind of hard to explain, but it separates it from a cat track. It's pretty obvious when you see the, the claw marks because cats walk with their claws retracted. When you see claws and you can kind of see an X that way in the, in the negative space of the track, that's a dog, but that's no ordinary dog. Look at that thing, man. So I think we found our neighborhood. We got kind of a natural bottleneck at the top of this meadow. And uh, I don't want to give away the location, but it's where we'll set up. Wolves like the, uh, the path of least resistance, like a, a mountain lion or a bobcat or any kind of cat would uh, not like the game trails a lot. They kind of cling to the trees. They're in the thick brush. They're up on top of stuff like logs and, and along the edges of trees and anywhere they can get that's sort of slinking along. Wolves, from what I've read, I don't know a ton about them, but they like logging roads and trails and they get in a line and motor. So a good trail's better for a, for a wolf. Woo, somebody else using this trail. That's a black bear. Look at that guy. That's a front foot and a back foot. And uh, that's a good sized black bear track. It's fun. Okay, so we have a well used game trail coming right through here. And there's my camera. Trail goes right through there. There's actually wolf tracks. In that mud, like, I don't know if you can see him down there, but down there, 
My trigger is that little green thing right there. There's a flash unit above that. There's another flash up there and another flash over here above the, uh, the camera. So this is your like photo studio right there. I'm just gonna pause right here for a second and clarify what I mean by flash. Now these are flash units, um, but they are set at the lowest setting that they can go to. Basically they're, they're at like 1 16th of their power. So when they go off, they're, it's more of a kind of soft pop of light. It's not what you're probably picturing when you think of a camera flash. I know some people get worried when they think about animals being scared off by the flashes. Now I've never seen a wolf interact with one and it could startle them, it's possible. Um, but I have video of like a bobcat and deer walking by these things when they go off and uh, paying them basically no mind, just kind of ignoring them altogether. So they're not what you're picturing probably when you think of a camera flash. Um, anyway, I just don't want people to complain about the bright lights. All right, we're looking upstream now. Camera's facing directly away from the sun on purpose. Um, that kind of worked out sweet, but you don't get any um, false triggers from the from the sunlight hitting the trigger or anything. So this is a trail in front of me. You're an innocent critter walking up along here. Flash picks you up, trigger picks you up, I mean, and uh, boom, you get your picture taken. So seems to be working good. And uh, we shall see, where's that track I was gonna show you? I don't know where it went. Oh, there you go. So that's a wolf track right here. We got the heel pad. It's kind of faint one, but on the trail. So we got bears and wolves and everybody else using this thing. And let me get out of the way because I keep triggering it. There you go. There's a green kind of area here trying to recover from the Dixie fire. There's a water source. And this appears to be a pretty popular place. So that bear track was just right up there. And we got wolves in the hood. So we'll see in a couple of weeks. I put a couple trail cameras nearby in other areas I might try out if this doesn't produce. We'll see if those pick up anything. But a couple trail cameras and the camera trap hanging out out here in the middle of nowhere and i ain't saying where but somewhere where there's wolves <laughs>